Hello and what is going on everyone? This is me, TV Fish 15 or you could just call me Jonah, and this is a commentary on Team Fortress 2. Just playing on Harvest, and it is a King of the Hill map. So one team, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, one team has to be on the point, stand on it, capture it, and hold it for at least three minutes each. The first one to get their timer to zero is the winner. So as you can see, me and this other pyro is capturing the point, and then this noobish pyro with a back burner is just killed me. Now the back burner, honestly, the the back burner, I don't like really really hate hate, but I mean it's unfair for one reason only. The damage bonus. I mean, the damage bonus just makes it a bit unfair. When it's a like, say, if you're like me and you have a degreaser, and then like it's a degreaser that has decreased afterburn damage, and he has complete 10% damage bonus. It's a bit unfair, but I, I would call the backburner a legitimate, like, a good weapon if they just took away. The um just took away the damage bonus because crits from behind that would help from when you're going after spies and they're trying to escape you can just finish them right then and there. That's why I use it in my uh, spy destroyingness set with the uh, back burner, the detonator, and the home wrecker. Now, as you can see here, we are losing because we are playing like garbage. I guess. I mean, there's there's not much else to say about it. Like the set I'm using is the flare gun, my strange axe extinguisher, my strange degreaser. Now, this tactic I do is when I air blast someone into the corner while they're on fire and finish them off. This tactic is called Puff and Sting. Pretty much I always do it. So, yeah. A lot of tactical pyro. <coughs> sorry. A lot of tactical pyros do it. And the other kind of thing tactical pyros do is pop. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me called Puff and Blast, which is the same concept, but you bring out the reserve shooter, blow him in the midair, and finish him off in the air, because the reserve shooter does crit, mini crits, when people are in midair. So that works. As you can see right there, there is a spy with the spicicle, which pretty much grants immunity to fire damage for about two seconds. So it's sort of like the Dead Ringer, just not faking your own death. But then after it melts, you're going to have to wait for it to refreeze. So honestly, it's okay. Like, I mean, Pyros can still get you after the two-second immunity to fire. I mean, like, I think there's actually a beta weapon. I don't know if it was scrapped or not, but it was like um, a fireproof suit or something in the beta for the spy so I mean that's pretty interesting so here I bet that's probably a spy but I'm like whatever fuck that well um that spy <laughs> was fucked Oh, another part of the time, I'm using the flare gun to get people at a distance. And I don't have a strange one yet, it's just a normal one. Mm, I'm almost dead here. And he killed me. So, yeah. 
Honestly, on the topic of snipers, I've just, uh, because you know what happens. I go into trades or whatever. I play with, let's say, my Sydney Sleeper thing, which I have the whole Crocus style kit. It's like, oh, you're a noob, you use the Sydney Sleeper. So I'm like, okay, just for you, I'm going to switch to the Machina. Just for you. And then there are other people who bitch, oh, you're a noob, you use the Machina. It's like, how about I switch to my Sydney Sleeper? Just for you. It's like, you know what? Fuck you, I'm gonna do whatever I bloody want, and I don't care what you're gonna say. I'm using it. Oh well. Like, honestly, it's ridiculous. I don't think it's a bizarre bargain too much, but that's if I really feel like getting a lot of headshots, and I know that I can get a lot. But, um... Honestly... Yeah, I mean, I used the Huntsman, but still. So, as you can see, we win. We get um, access to the enemy team's area. That's about it. See ya. Yeah.